Hello everyone and welcome back to Plants and Lucia. I am Lucia and today I'm going to be moving some of my plant cuttings from water to soil. So I thought it could be a good opportunity to show you how I do it and also give you an update on some of the propagations that we have been doing this month. Okay, come with me. <laughs> Whether you're coming back or this is your first time in this channel, thank you so much for being with me and watching this video. I am a plant beginner and I learn about my houseplants every day. So this channel is to share with you what I learned. So if you would like to learn how to take care of your houseplants, how to display them or even how to connect with them, make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week and talk about plants. But now let's go to the propagation world. Okay, welcome to the propagation bowl. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the plants that I'm going to be transplanting and I'm going to show you how the roots are growing, which is pretty amazing, you guys. So the first plant that we're going to transplant is this one right here. This is the golden potos. And this plant is so cool because it actually grows the roots really fast. So as you can see, it has many roots already. So this one is ready to transplant into soil. So this is the first one that we're going to be transplanting. The second one is this uh, string of pearls. Again, this one has less roots than the, than the potos here, but still the roots are really long now. So I think we could actually transplant it into soil. And actually this one I put into a root shoot which actually protects the pearls from touching the water, which I really recommend for this plant because you don't want the pearls to touch water because then you're gonna get fungi. So yeah, I would recommend that. <laughs> and the third and last plant that we're gonna be transplanting is this one right here. This one is Atradescantia and I actually put it not so long ago in the water, but as you can see, it has many roots already. This plant actually grows really fast. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about transplanting this one too. It's already growing so many leaves. So let's get to our table and start transplanting. Okay, so now that we have our plants ready, I'm gonna tell you exactly what we need. Of course, our cuttings in the water first, the pots that you're gonna move them to. So in my case, I'm actually moving them with their mother plant. So I have all of the pots right here some all-purpose houseplant potting mix and I'm gonna add some perlite to the potting mix just so the soil has good drainage and the roots can actually breathe. You can also add some pumice or orchid bark. And our last material will be water. This is very important because remember, our plants are being transferred from water to soil. So we wanna keep the soil moist so our plants don't leave so much shock Okay, let's get to transplanting and our first plant will be the potos. Okay, you guys, so here we have our potos cuttings. I can tell you this plant is really easy to propagate because the roots grow really fast. Actually, I can show you here. As you can see, we have many roots. And uh, actually, I check for two things when I'm transferring my potos from water to soil. The first thing is roots and the second thing is leaves. So let's separate this cutting so I can show you what I mean. Okay, so now we have our three cuttings right here. And I'm gonna show you what I look for when I look at the roots. So as you can see, we have many new roots coming out, which is good. And also, you can also see the size of the roots. So this one, as you can see, is as long as our cutting, which is really good. Um, so this one is ready to, to be transferred to the soil in terms of roots. This one again, as well, is very good. And this one has a lot of root growth. Now, another factor that you can consider when transferring your plant from water to soil is the leaves. For example, this one. This one has very good root growth and also has new leaves. This one is a new leaf, this one is a new leaf. It was actually only these two leaves when I started to propagate this plant. So that means that the plant is happy and very strong because it's growing new leaves. 
And this one, although it doesn't have so many roots as these ones, also has two new leaves coming out. So I think these coatings are ready to be transferred to the soil. So let's transfer now. What I'm gonna do first is actually put some water in the soil so it's a little bit moist. So there we have it. We're gonna water a little bit. So I'm gonna make a hole here about my finger deep maybe. And we're gonna add our first cutting over there. So we're gonna be very careful with our roots and we can put some of our potting mix to cover it well. And there it is, our first cutting. Now let's make the other ones. And there we have it my friend. It's really easy and also it's really cool because now our potos is more full. As a matter of fact, I think that I'm going to do some cuttings today to keep propagating her because now I can see that she's getting longer here and here so I can actually get some cuttings and keep getting more of this beautiful plant. But now let me show you how we transfer this string of pearls from water to soil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the roots out of the water. You can see over there we have some roots. And I'm gonna carefully take these out of the root shoot. So it went through there. <laughs> yes, second, and there we have it. So we have one, two, and three. So we're gonna make a hole here. We're gonna start with this one. Put it all the way down, like so, and add some soil. Actually, I'm gonna add some soil anyways because as you can see, I think it needs more soil now. Let's do like that. Then we're gonna maybe make a hole here. We're gonna put it over here. The pearls are gonna be out, like so. And let's put this one over here. Or besides this one here. So we're gonna put the roots here. I'm gonna add some soil. Maybe even here, just protecting the pearls a little bit. And let's add some water. And there we have it. Hopefully we'll do a little better. And not to worry, I'm actually gonna do a story, like a highlight story on Instagram. It's gonna be called Propagations. And I'm just gonna put all of these there so you know how they're actually doing. But now let's get to our Trales Cantia cuttings. Okay, so here we have our green Tradescantia. This plant grows really fast. So now we're actually going to put this one in the pot and this is actually going to make her look fuller and it's going to look really nice. So let's just take it out of the, the decorative pot and we're going to do the same as with the potos. We're going to make a hole and put our cuttings. These ones are three cuttings. So I think I'm going to make a hole over here. We have a lot of space there over here all the way and there we have it with the roots here so let's just put it inside like so we can put it on the side then I'm gonna make another hole over here and again this one with the roots so let's put it over here inside the roots covered by the soil and maybe another one over here. Just go all the way. We can see the roots here. This one doesn't have so, like they're not really long, but it's a very, very, very strong plant. So I think she'll be okay. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I can cut a little bit of the stem here so it can go deeper. So I'm gonna cut here. And there we have it. Let's put some soil. And we're gonna add some water and put it in our decorative pot. And there we have it, my friends. We have our three plants transferred from water to soil. It's not so hard to transfer them to the soil, but now we have to keep an eye on them and see that they're not being too shocked by the new environment. 
some cuttings may not make it and that's okay we are learning what i recommend is that you always have extra cuttings just in case so you don't lose your plant do you have any other tips to transfer your plants from water to soil make sure to comment below so we can all learn together of course if you would like to be part of this community you're always welcome so make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week and keep talking about plants and as always i will see you in the next video okay ciao <laughs>